Good morning, everyone. It is currently 7.23 on July 15th. And today's video is gonna be about what I do on Saturdays. So for the past six years, I have been a volunteer at the Commemorative Air Force. <laughs> Uh, at the Spirit of Tulsa Squadron, we are located at Riverside Airport in Tulsa, or Jinx, if you will. And yeah, we have a rides program we do on Saturdays. So I just thought I'd make a video about that because I love doing it. It's clearly I've been doing it for six years. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video about it today. We have one ride, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping the clouds are a little low this morning. So we'll see. But yeah. I'm just going to be filming that today and some of what we do, but yeah. It is about a 30 minute drive, the route I take from my house, so we'll be there around 8 o'clock. Okay, we made it, we're here, um, I wish I could show you the airport, but yeah, let's go inside. Got the gloves, gotta get the ID, bam. bar <laughs> okay so <laughs> I didn't get to show you guys the full unbuttoning of the airplane but I showed you the after so and it's open also you guys keep seeing my feet a lot do you like my holes in the tips of my shoes the guys around here keep saying I need to clip my toenails, but it's just the way I walk, I think. And I wear these on end, so. <laughs> There's a smiley face. Skateboard? I have no idea. So I just walked over to one of the 152s that they work on here. We're currently located at Tulsa Tech. We were at a whole different hangar like years ago, but we've been at Tulsa Tech for a long time. And that's where we do all of our operations. That's why you see all these other airplanes around here. So I'm currently in a 152. And you can see they're messy, no seats, because they work on them. Yeah, woohoo! Okay, so this is our PT-19, World War II trainer, PT, primary trainer, built in 1942. I call it the wartime Cessna because this is what you trained in before you went to a T-6, so. Okay, so I said for that video you saw, yes, you fly in the PT-19 before you went to something like the AT-6. I believe in between, you would also have like a BT, like they have BT-13s, which is I believe basic trainer, so it's like three phases. I believe that's correct, so. Our first ride is supposed to be at nine, it's 8.37. So we'll see if these clouds disappear in about 20 minutes. If not, we'll probably delay and wait. Hopefully the sun dissipates those clouds because they're just low, like, because it's humid outside, summertime. These always pop up in Oklahoma in the morning. I've had to cancel flights due to clouds that low, so we'll see. Gotta 
DJ stripes. Our passengers here, so they're just getting ready. I'm gonna marshal them out. So I usually do both, but I'd be lazy and just marshal today. Cessna, out of Delta Delta, runway one left front of area, taxi the Alpha. Oh, it's Cessna, Delta Delta, uh, one left front of area, the Alpha, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, three, three, cub. Okay, this Sabre jet looks open. I wonder if I could go climb into it. Let's go look. Not like I've been in it a hundred times already, but, you know. Cool. This is an old airplane. It's pretty cool though, Sabre Liners. I don't know what model of Sabre Liner. I guess I could go look, but yeah. Usually, I, like all these airplanes, like I said, they're out of OTEC, so they use them for the students to work on them, and they have jets. They also have an A7, it's at the other hangar. A lot of 150s, 152s. They got a Seneca. Um, I don't remember that. I think they have a, it's not a Seminole. There's another twin engine airplane over there made by Piper. Uh, 182 that they're rebuilding or have been rebuilding from the ground up. It's pretty cool. I'm glad that we do our operations out here. Well, this is a fun little angle. You're on the yoke. But anyway, so basically the mission of the commemorative air force, I just want to talk about this a little bit. So we do do like, if you give a donation, you get a ride. They do it all over the country. Headquarters is based Dallas, Fort Worth, I believe around that area in Dallas. And they have a bunch of World War II airplanes. Uh, you probably seen them at air shows. There's other squadrons like ours that just operate and do the same thing, give rides, travel to different aviation events, give rides. But their main mission is to educate on these aircraft and their history, which got cut off there, which is just really cool. Uh, that's why I like it. I'm a big World War II airplane fan. I love Warbirds, so. It's great, and the airplanes we have, we have a PT-19 and a PT-26, which a lot of people don't know about. Um, this was my first airplane ride was in the PT-19 back in 2017. I've been here since, but the PT-19 is something you don't see, like I said in, a vi in the uh, other clip late earlier in the video, um, primary trainer. So it's basically the first thing you trained in when you were becoming an Army Air Corps pilot was the PT-19. PT-26 was used for the Royal Canadian Air Force, uh, built in Canada. It's the same airplane, but it has a canopy. It can fly at higher altitude, different markings, of course, because of the country it flies for. But yeah, uh, our PT-19, the gray airplane that you saw, Silver Streak, it's a nickname we have. Um, yeah, she's a World War II trainer aircraft, PT, and she's done good for many a year. We started the squadron, or they started the squadron, back in the 80s, and that was the airplane that they built. Um, took them 13 years, and she's been flying ever since, and she's been doing real good. 
even since I've been here, uh, the engine has been performing well and it shouldn't be after so many years, but we have great mechanics here, people who volunteer, all of us are volunteers out here and they do a great job. Now our operation operates every uh, Saturday in the morning until however long we need because sometimes we have one ride, sometimes six, just depends and yeah. Main purpose here is yes, have fun with the ride, but also educate at the same time. So it's it's a good it's a good time. I've enjoyed doing it and hopefully I can continue doing it up until I leave after I commission. So that'll be fun. But yeah. And I'd like to mention our PT26. Um we've had it for a while. It was just it was bare, it was a bare frame. Uh, the wings were bare wood, no fabric on them, nothing whenever I got here back in 2017 and actually started volunteering out here. And as you saw, it's it's a full airplane. <laughs> Done a couple of test flights. We need to still run the engine, um, get that time built on it so that the engine is well seasoned and um, we doesn't give us problems, you know. It's just basically getting those little things done before it could start. Uh, flying rides and going out to other aviation events and same thing so pretty cool airplane it's great to have two pts and teaching the public about them because they're well hidden um, a lot of people will look for oh p51s it, I, I like that airplane or b25s b24s b17s like things like that people always look for that p p40 but uh i really i think that's why i like the squadron so much is because Nobody knows about these airplanes and it's fun to teach people about them. Like this is what you're in before you got to those, right? So I just, I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. I don't know what they're currently working on here, but let's get out. Got a Lear 35, another Sabre liner back there, 150. Um, got all the other volunteers out there. Can't really see them. <laughs> This is the airplane I couldn't think of. It's a Piper Aztec. Clearly, you can tell it's a little older <laughs> by the upholstery. It's pretty cool. And then you have that Beechcraft over there, too. Okay, now we're just waiting for the airplane to come back. But I think I'm going to watch some Spartan students land. Same thing, different markings. Okay, so we're halfway done. Um, Landon, our pilot, still needs to do his canopy cover, but or cockpit cover, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's we have. Um, Landon just left in that airplane. Interesting. So I guess I'll start on getting that. Where was that covered? Ta-da got it halfway buttoned because his stuff is still in there. Let's go see if we go see that airplane again. 
Yeah, man, they're about to take off. Uh, don't know why. He had a headset, so maybe he was just testing the headset in a different airplane. No idea. Nice little booty taking off. Mandatory cookie break in between doing things. <laughs> I just have no idea where he went. All the same, just about. He's back. Random and weird. Also, this is new. Um, this wasn't here Tuesday when I came out. So I guess Tulsa Tech is in the aerospace maintenance competition. Nice. Okay, now I'm leaving. They're still doing a little bit of work, but I have some stuff I gotta do today. But yeah, that was basically our operation out here on Saturdays. They have work days on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I come out at least one of those days, so. I really wish I could have gotten more footage of like unbuttoning the airplane and then putting everything back on the airplane, but um, wasn't able to do that because <laughs> the guys were just on it today. I was I just got there and they're already opening up the airplane. I was like, well, that sucks, but that's okay. There will be other times. Hi everyone, it is the next day. I didn't end the video yesterday, so I'm just gonna end it today. But yeah, um, that's our squadron. Like I said, we're located at Riverside Airport in the Tulsa Tech Hangar. Um, our operations are on Saturdays. But uh, yeah, I just thought I wanted to make an informational video about what we do and why we do it. And the current Air Force, like I said, their main mission is to educate on the history of these airplanes. A lot of them were used during World War II, but then you also have in their inventory like the Corsair, the Bearcat, where they were in other conflicts, not just World War II. But yeah, their whole mission is to educate on what these airplanes did, what it did for the country. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I love it. It's a whole different kind of community with Warbirds and met a lot of great people because of it. So. But yeah, if you want to check out our squadron, I will leave our website in the description. But yeah, that's the end of the video. See y'all later.